drought monitor is flatlined over the last three weeks it really hasn't changed at all. These percentages remain the same. We're still looking at the worst drought conditions, the exceptional rating in that dark, dark red area, almost maroonish color, from Dillon to Bozeman, and then up around Glasgow and Miles City. So southwest to northeast. So we had a storm front blow through yesterday. We're behind that, limited amount of moisture, but the next upstream storm looks a little bit more powerful. It's moving into the Gulf of Alaska. So it's about 24 to 48 hours away. So ahead of that, wildfire smoke will start to drift back into the region with a much stronger southwesterly flow. And at times, it could be incredibly thick as we head into Friday afternoon, evening, and Saturday morning. But hopefully with the increasing surface winds, some of that will get scrubbed out Saturday night and into Sunday. Wind gusts for your Friday afternoon localized in the 20 to 30 mile per hour range, but not for everybody. But the winds will be much stronger Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. We could see gusts 30 to 60 miles per hour, and I wouldn't be surprised if the National Weather Service issues a high wind watch, a high wind advisory, or even a high wind warning for Saturday afternoon and evening with that type of wind strength likely to move over southwestern Montana. So again, there's a lot of little pieces here that we're trying to put together to form our forecast. So the general weather pattern is cool and dry tonight into tomorrow. Increasing clouds will be mixing with some increasing wildfire smoke, and then some afternoon thunderstorms could develop around West Yellowstone and Big Sky by Saturday afternoon ahead of this cold front. But that front will be moving into northwest Montana Saturday evening at around midnight and then moving into southwest Montana by Sunday. There will be some valley rain and there will be some mountain snow. It's just a big question mark right now where the 